So, what we're going to do here is we are going to add the resistive values on each side. I'm going to keep that in blue here. Alright, so on this leg here, is again, if we study current flow or electron flow, we're going negative to positive. When we get to this point, current has options. It can split. Some of the current's going to go this way, some of the current's going to go that way. And they're going to merge back at the top. So, let's find the resistance of this branch. It's going to be 3K. And the resistance of this branch is going to be 9K. Okay. Now, since both of these branches in their entirety are in parallel with this 12 volt supply, that means that 12 volts is going to be dissipated on each branch. So that means if you measure from this point to this point, you'll see 12 volts. If you measure from this point to this point, you'll see 12 volts. So let's apply some basic Ohm's Law stuff. All right. <clears throat> First, let's figure IT. All right, so we've got 3K and 9K here. We can't just add them together because the relationship that R1 and R2 have with R3 and R4 is that they're in parallel. So basically, again, whenever you work with series parallel circuits and you're trying to find RT, there's no one straight formula. You have to appreciate the series parallel relationships that exist in the circuit. So in this circuit, in this bridge, the relationship is this. It's going to be R1 plus R2 is going to be in parallel with R3 plus R4. And there's no formula sheet for that. You have to calculate that. You have to figure it every time. Because if the circuit changes in even the slightest, the formula changes. So you have to appreciate the series here, R1 and R2, and the parallel relationships, R1, R2, to R3, R4. So. We've added the series resistors. Now we've got to do the parallel resistance. All right, I'm going to put the parallel formula up. Remember to calculate resistances in parallel. Uh, it's going to be R is going to equal the reciprocal of all of the reciprocal resistance values added. So if we have 3K and 9K, which we're going to put in parallel, it's going to be 1 over 3K plus 1 over 9K. And if we get the reciprocal of that, that will give us our total resistance for this particular circuit. So, I'm going to punch that up on my calculator. We've got 3,000 reciprocal plus... 9,000 reciprocal, and close parentheses, I'm going to find that equals 0 .0004444444, <clears throat> but to get the final answer, we have to reciprocal that, and you find that you should have 2,250. So again, to find it, we have 3,000, we have 9,000, the reciprocal of 3,000, plus the reciprocal of 9,000, and then get the reciprocal of your answer. And that gives us 2,250 for RT. So, again, working really tight with the board space here. RT is going to equal 2,250 ohms. Again, we're not thevenizing or anything yet. We're just working with a series parallel. All right, once I have that, now I'm going to go for IT because I can, I've got VS. And remember Ohm's law, voltage times current, or voltage equals current times resistance. So if I want my total current, uh, I've got my total resistance. So I've got two out of the three. VS is 12 volts. So I'm going to plug that in right now. And now I can solve for IT by simply dividing 12 volts by 2,250 ohms. And I'm going to do that now. 12 divided by 2250 is going to give me 
5.3333 milliamps. I'm going to just round it off. And IT is 5.33 milliamps. Just going to round two spaces. Again, rounding can affect your accuracy and precision when you do this, so be careful when you round your numbers. All right, so IT. IT basically tells us that based on the total resistance of the circuit, we're going to have 5.33 milliamps running out of here. So 5.33 out of the source and whatever leaves has to come back. 5.33 milliamps coming back. All right, now let's figure out how much current is going to run through each branch. Now, parallel says that current is going to take the path of least resistance. So if this is 3K and this is 9K, you're going to have three times as much current running through here than you will here, because this branch is going to offer more resistance. And if the numbers don't work out even like that, just remember, lower resistance, more current is going to opt to flow through that branch. So now let's figure out how much goes through each one. I know it seems like I'm taking the long way around, but I want you guys to understand completely. First, solve it as a series parallel, and then we can start answering some of these questions. All right, so on this side, we have 3,000 ohms of resistance. Okay, well, we know R, but do we know anything else? We do, because this branch is in parallel with the source. We know that 12 volts is going to drop from this point to this point. So we've got V, we've got R, we want to solve for I. So I is going to equal 12 volts divided by 3,000 ohms. And we find that 4 milliamps, or 0 .004, of this 533 is going to run through this branch. So let's plug that in. And I think we're using red for the current. I'm going to stick with that. All right. A little shaky there, but 4 milliamps going to go up this branch, which means the remaining current is going to have to detour and take the other the long way around. So I'm doing, I'm just going to apply uh, Kirchhoff's current law, subtract 4 milliamps from the 533. Again, something has to be said for rounding numbers, accuracy, and precision. But we should have 1.33 milliamps running through this branch. Again, here are the current splits, goes two directions, merges back up here at the top, returns to the source. So that's your electron flow. Okay, so we solve current for the purpose of finding the voltage drops here, 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 and here. And we'll use green for those. All right, now again, like I was saying, you know, between rounding numbers, uh, we may have um, our final voltage trust may be a little off, but if we were completely precise with our numbers, uh, we should see some consistency. But let's see what we get. So 4 milliamps times 2,000, because we've got, we've got I, we've got R, we need to find V, Ohm's law. So 0 0.004, I'm appreciating that this is milliamps and not amps times 2,000 ohms. Okay, we are dropping 8 volts right here. Let's find out how much we're dropping up here. Same formula. 4 milliamps times 1,000. And you could probably work it in your head, but I'll throw it on the calculator just to show you. So 4 volts dropping right here. Let's do the same for the other side. Here we have a different current, 1.33 milliamps. So 0 0.00133 times 6,000, 7.98. Here's where the precision comes in that I was telling you about. Here we've got a drop of 7.98. I want to address this in a minute, but let me get my other one here. 